What happens to a body when it's underwater? A couple of things. It feels like there's nothing left for you to do. Like it's like so bad that like you can't really like you just stop thinking about everybody else and thinking about what would happen once you're gone and everything and you're just like I'm so over it. Two parents may lose a daughter, but was she ever theirs to begin with? Some would say so, but I am confident that this is just a myth. I told my social worker that I wanted to go to the hospital because I wanted to die. And she called my mom and told my mom that she thought I needed to go to the hospital. My mom took me to the ER. I sort of knew that if I went back home in a few more days, I was going to feel horrible. They tell her losing her would fill them with misery. But how could they expect her to live with this sort of agony? Some say love is feeling pain when losing someone, but I say it is recognizing what have become undone. I'm excited for the future. I want to see where you know I can take like my art. I don't really know what I want to do when I get older. Right now, I'm just trying to play college football. If I can make it out of high school and somehow find a way to support myself doing things that I love, I will be set. What happens to a body as it floats out to sea? Perhaps you realize suicide is not quite what you thought it would be. With the long jump from the bridge, the cold water weighty, you still have not been set free. I know that people love me. Like I know like my family loves me. Even like when they found out in sixth grade that I was hurting myself. And that's not even, that's just when it started. Like it wasn't really that bad back then. I just remember like my sister calling me from work and she says, like, please don't do that to yourself. You know, we, like, we all love you so much. And we ended up, like, enrolling in, like, this clinic. Basically, it's, like, therapy, but it's, like, a couple times a week. Mm -hmm. And that was only for a little while. And then I was in therapy, which I hated. And I was like, I don't want to talk about my problems. <laughs> <laughs> the group therapy, we were like... She's like, draw your safe space. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, what am I gonna draw? It's honestly just like bullshit. Like it's just, <laughs> it, I'm sorry. I remember drawing like the ocean or something. Yeah, it was. I'm, they're like, yay, yay, yeah. you're not suicidal anymore. And I'm like, no. We watched Frozen about seven times, and I wanted to kill myself more there than I did before I came. It was supposed to work, to make everything stop. But your hands are numb, and the sad thoughts are still there on top. Seventh grade is like, that was like probably around like my, one of my worst years, like mm -hmm. being like a teenager, or like a preteen. It was like mostly family stuff, like mostly like things with my parents, like being well, my dad and my brothers and everything, me and the military, and then like, yeah. I feel like that just kind of like, it wasn't that that was like the stuff that was hurting me the most, it was just like that was what pushed me over the edge. Mm -hmm. Back in, you know, like eighth grade, like over the summer, it was like one of the lowest points in my life. Like, I just felt like I had nothing. I wanted to kill myself for like two years on end. No one could even help me. People would say things like, It'll get better when you go away to college or something, but I never saw it getting better. I didn't think that I would make it past like 18 because it hurt physically. What happens to a body when the skin has gone cold? You realize not to believe everything you are told. Suicide isn't helping, so gone is the option. Besides, you didn't want to die anyway. You just wanted it all to go away. It's if you're like physically sick, then you know you can say wrong like, oh, I don't, I don't feel good today. Like I don't want to go to school, but and everybody's like okay with that. Like oh, like yeah. I hope you get better. But you know if you're feeling like mentally exhausted, like you you can't get out of bed even if you you know wanted to. It nobody cares. cares. Like, it's just yeah. yeah. Even now, 
when I talk to people and I tell them that I've gotten bad again, they, I feel like they kind of just look at me and they're like, whoa, don't kill yourself. But they don't offer something substantial. They're like, just don't do it. You kind of see them as selfish, that they want to keep you here, but yeah. um, it's really difficult for you to stay. It's like I don't want to, obviously. The only reason why I'm even thinking about it is because it hurts so bad, and obviously I want to be here and be happy and be like a normal person, but it doesn't happen for me the way I guess it happens for other people. You wanted a future, a life of your own. You just didn't realize that you don't have to do it alone. Depression is a bitch, a bully, a tyrant. You have a therapist, family, and friends. You can fight it off. You are young and vibrant, dear friend. I feel like I found my place, like my right place to be, like mm -hmm. where I was happy. If I ever had thoughts about it after that point, it was more like, but I would never do it because I would be leaving this. Like I love playing football. Like I don't know why, it's just like, it's so much fun. Like I just love it so much. When we're little and you're a football player, you hate to get hit. Like yeah. that's the reason why you run fast. When you're older, it's like, you want to hit people. Like you stand there and you're like, I cannot wait to hit this man. Like <laughs> it, You could do so much with art. Like you can, it's, it's a good way. Like if you're just angry, I mean, you can like put up a piece of paper on your wall and just like spray paint on it. Just like take a paintbrush and just like, you know, throw it. And it's a good way to release your emotions. And it's also a really good way to distract yourself. Eventually you just need to get it off your chest, like you need to find somebody to confide in. Just stick around as hard as it is because you can go from rock bottom to, you know, like being on the top of the world. And it takes a lot of effort and you have to be invested in wanting to get better. But it also takes a lot to get there, to want to yeah. start to feel better. Hope is sort of something that keeps me alive. I just hope that one day I can do what I love for a living and I will be able to live past all those moments where I wonder why I'm still around because I'll be like, hey, I make movies and I make books and some of these things inspire people to stay alive. What happened to a girl when the demons fought her? She realized how much she loved the sound of rainwater. 